from fabulous Las Vegas, PartyPoker.net presents Powerful Poker Profits, starring Vegas Vic himself, Victor H. Royer. And now, here's Vegas Vic. Hello and welcome to our show. We are about to introduce you to the wonderful game of Seven Card Stud. This program is intended to cover the very basics for players who have never played Seven Card Stud. So if you already know how to play, we have more shows in this series on advanced strategies and concepts. But for those of you who are new to Seven Card Stud, this is the perfect place to be. And now, let's go to the table. Until just recently, when Texas Hold'em took over the world, Seven Card Stud was the world's most popular poker game. Even today, many professional poker players still consider Seven Card Stud to be the ultimate test of poker skill. If you have great powers of observation, and if you have at least some ability to recognize and remember cards that have been exposed, then you will do very well in Seven Card Stud. Seven Card Stud is so named because each player who remains to the final card will eventually have seven cards total, of which two will be dealt face down to each player, the next four will be dealt face up to each player, and the final card will be dealt face down to each player. The fact that each player will have his or her own seven cards is what makes this game substantially different from Texas Hold'em. If you're familiar with Texas Hold'em, you know the concept of the two down cards, but then the other five cards are dealt in the middle of the table on the board and therefore become common community cards to all players. This is not so in seven card stud. Because each player has his or her own cards, for the observant player it becomes easier to judge the potential value of your hands as well as the potential values of the hands of your opponents as each card is dealt in each successive round of dealing and betting. For example, if your hand contains pocket kings, but amongst the up cards of your opponents you see the other two kings, then you know that you can never make either three kings or four kings and therefore cannot improve your big pocket pair. By being observant and paying careful attention not only to your own hand and cards, but particularly to those of your opponents, you will be able to make better judgments about the value of your own hand and therefore make better decisions about whether or not to proceed. At the same time, you will also be able to make similar judgments about the value of your opponent's hands and therefore make better decisions about how they are likely to play those hands or if indeed they will play them at all. By so doing, you can often save yourself money by not proceeding with hands that have little hope of improving, while at the same time exploit your opponents if you see that they have failed to account for shortcomings in their own hands. And that is how you can make consistent profits in 7 card stud. But of course, before we can talk more about strategy, first we need to concentrate on the dealing and betting procedures. In 7 card stud, each game begins with all the players first posting an ante. The ante is a forced bet, kind of like the blinds in Texas Hold'em. The exception here is that every player has to put up the ante before dealing of the next hand. After all the players post their ante, the dealer then begins to deal the hand. Each player gets two down cards and the next card face up. The first card that is dealt face up is called the door card and this round of betting is known as third street. It is at this stage that players make decisions about the value of their hands and whether or not to proceed. To begin, the player with the lowest ranking card by number and suit is forced to make what is called the bringing bet. This bet can be as low as the smallest limits allowed or as high as the limit allowed for your particular game. Now the other players have to decide whether or not to call the bet, to raise or to fold. After these decisions have been made, the dealer is then ready to deal the next card. This next round is called 4th Street and is also dealt face up. Another round of betting now takes place. The same procedures are now repeated again for each street. The next card is called 5th Street. It is at this point that the betting structure doubles and all players still in the hand at this stage have to make the same series of decisions as before. Once they have made these decisions, the dealer then burns another card and once again deals it face up to each player. This is called 6th Street. 
At this point, each player still in the hand has a total of six cards, consisting of two down cards, which only each individual player can see, followed by four up cards, which are fully exposed and thus can be seen by all players. Now there is only one card to come, and it is at this point that traditionally the majority of the action takes place. The dealer then burns the final card and deals the last and seventh card to each player face down. From these seven cards, each player now has to select the best possible five-card poker hand. If any of these players now proceed to showdown, they turn their whole cards over and display their hands. The dealer now compares the hands and awards the pot to the player with the best hand. Once this has been done, the dealer collects all of the cards and begins to shuffle them again, while the players post antes for the next hand and the whole process is repeated for each successive hand. And that, my friends, is how you begin to play the great game of Seven Card Stud. This game is very easy to learn and one that will keep you interested for many years to come as you begin to get deeper into more advanced strategies and playing concepts. For those discussions, you can tune into one of our other programs or click the appropriate link on the designated webpage. And now, until next time, remember to play smart and play to win. I'm Victor H. Royer, and this has been a presentation of PartyPoker.net. Bye! This has been a presentation of MRM Entertainment Inc. in association with Nevada Production Studios and PartyPoker.net.